mistakes. My turn bike here uses a cable system disc brake, and let me show you how it works. When you pull the lever here, it pulls the cable, which activates the pads, which grip the disc and stop the wheel. First thing I like to check is the ends of the cable for any fraying. If there's too much fraying, I'm gonna have to replace it. This one's good here. And let me see here. Get around you. This is good too. That looks good, yeah. Yeah. Why don't you want to have a, a frayed cable? Um, if there's too much fraying, it will be too. It will be stretchier than the normal one, mm -hmm. which makes you lose stopping power. Ah! Second thing I like to do is to check the cable housing for any breaks. If there is a break, the it allows water and dirt to go in, which makes the cable inside rust oh. and weaken. It becomes a problem when when you need to stop immediately. What's next? Now we've done all that, we can continue checking the pads. Okay, what's first? What do um, we do first? Take out the wheels. Okay, why? Uh, so we can get to the pads. We're gonna loosen the cable, which, which we, we did earlier. Yeah, we did that earlier. And take out these two bolts so I can take this out. Now that I took these two bolts out, I can flip it. And now I need to take these two out. Those are... Yeah, the, this... Where's the pad? Which one is the pad? These on the sides are pads, and the one in the middle is the pin. This is the new ones, right? Yes. This is the pads, this is the pins in the middle. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that we need to take out. Yeah. We still got quite a bit of go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, can, I think we can still reinstall the old one. Let's check the other one. This one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that seems a bit shorter than. But we still have yeah. quite a bit of go. So we can use this one still. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Let's put them back on. Putting it back in now that we checked. So now we're gonna put in this in, but first we're gonna put in the Loctite in here. So... Why do we need Loctite? So the bolts here won't come loose when I'm riding. Yeah. Because I, as you can see, the old bolts has already, already has had some Loctites in it. Mm-hmm. Right, but since we are we took it off, now we need to put a new Loctite to make yeah. sure that it won't come loose because of the vibration. Oh, let me see. There's a small drip. It's good. Yeah. It's a small drip. Yeah, that's good. Seems good. One. Tilt it this way. Okay. I think we're running out of it. Let's see. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, that seems enough. Let me see. See, it's I think blue. we got enough. Okay, go ahead, continue. Okay. Now, we're gonna screw this in enough to make this part stay, Yeah. but not tight yet. Yeah, because we're gonna center the disc mm -hmm. uh, later on. So, 
It won't this be. is one of the last bolt to tighten. Mm-hmm. Okay, what do we do? So, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Please. Okay. So, I'm gonna tighten the, the cable. Yeah, pull, pull the cable. Yeah. There, tighten it. So, we screw this back on. I'm it's gonna... still loose, right? Yeah. yeah. So, I'm gonna put and the... And then we, uh, we tighten the yeah, cable. Yeah, we tighten the cable. And I'm gonna put the wheel on so we can center this. You can see it's still loose. Yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. So... I think you got it. Yeah. Okay, okay so... What? what are you doing? So, I do this. You put the gear here. So, you don't have to worry about that side anymore. Okay, once you get in the gear... So once you get in the gear, so you see, you can ha you have to put the disc in. The disc into the slot, right? Yeah. There. There. It didn't go all the way in. Yeah. So I'm pressing the brake. So the rear brake, you can see it mm -hmm. engages. Mm -hmm. And keep pressing it. Okay. So I can tighten these bolts. Okay. Stay it. the adjustments i did the same check in the front and how's the pads looks in the front mm, it's good yeah so now i feel confident about my brakes i'll see i hope you like this video guys i'll see you again soon bye